Hi Taurus, welcome back. This is your Oracle of Love who's coming towards you for single. Now let's have a look and see at this person's past, their past relationship. We spoke about possibly this person has been single, has been alone for quite some time. They did have the hermit come up twice, so there is a lot of autonomy, uh, perhaps a lot of solitude, or maybe they've been single for um, X amount of years. But let's have a look into this person's past relationship when they were last seeing someone or when they were last coupled up with someone. What was their previous relationship like? What was it lacking and what are they looking for this time around in their previous, from their previous relationship? Okay, it's almost like this card wants to come out. Okay, Seven of Swords. I feel like they were deceived. Um, it could have been it was them. They might have been doing the deceiving. There could have been someone that was very um, dishonest with them. There definitely could have been cheating involved. They might have been cheated on. Um, I feel as though there was a lot of secrecy. There was a lot of things kept in the dark in their previous relationship with their previous partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. Um... Or significant other I feel as though they almost had to tiptoe look there was just it just seems as though there wasn't honesty possibly cheating for this air sign possibly them cheating or someone cheating on them I think it's more on them though um, I almost feel like someone was very sneaky that their, their partner might have been their ex-partner might have been quite sneaky and maybe they're that's why they've become the hermit they've just withdrawn from dating they withdrawn from that um, sort of scene because they were hurt or they just, you know, gave up. They just thought, you know, if this is what it consists of, I don't want it. So perhaps that's the reason why they've been single. There's been a lot of dishonesty, um, a lot of insincerity, I think, from their previous relationship. It might have even been built on lies. It just, something doesn't feel very authentic about it with the Seven of Swords. I think whoever they were seeing, Taurus, is just... I'm sorry, but not a very good person with the Seven of Swords. Um, a lot of obstacles in the relationship. It just, possibly other people were involved. Okay, Seven of Cups. Um, a lot of things were up in the air in the relationship. There wasn't any um, label to the relationship. It was possibly like, well, where are we? Where do we stand? There was a lot of things that were just swirling around and nothing was cemented. Nothing was set in stone. I think this person that's coming in for you, Taurus, I think they wanted the idea of love. They wanted to manifest. The Seven of Cups is all about manifestation and working towards things we want, using the law of attraction to manifest love and partnerships and relationships, etc. But it's almost like this person manifested someone who wasn't good for them. I think they were in a relationship predominantly because they liked the idea, Taurus, because they liked the companionship. They liked the idea. They wanted that label. However, it just, it wasn't meant to be. A lot of things were up in the air. There was a lot going on. Um, I don't think this person they were with, their ex, was relationship quality at all. <clears throat> and they were just completely dishonest. Okay, Seven of Wands. A lot of disharmony. Um, it's almost like this person, Taurus, had to constantly report what they were doing. Maybe their ex was quite protective quite jealous overbearing and it's almost like they needed to be in a position where they had to defend themselves we see this person here and he just feels he's on his own he might have had all these accusations all these ones but he's he's here and firm and you know trying to defend himself so maybe they were accused of cheating or someone did the cheating and they just weren't having it you know I think their ex-partner might have cheated and then accused them of something when really it was the ex-partner and they felt defensive. Um, you know, there's two sevens here. This relationship might have been seven months ago, seven years ago, I think. And you do have the six. So it's it could have been a long time ago. It could even have been six years ago. But I think it was just a relationship that didn't work. There was a lot of accusations and I think this stemmed from the ex-partner's insecurities, Taurus. And then whatever they felt insecure about, they would reprimand and accuse this, this person of doing the same thing. When in reality, I don't think it was anything close to that. I think this ex of theirs had a lot of insecurities. And there's a lot of confrontation. The Seven of Wands is all about being put on the spot. 
um, lack of trust, I feel. And again, I think this stems from the ex-partner's lack of, lack of trustworthiness, lack of um, authenticity, and they started accusing this person of it. And it just was just not a very harmonious relationship. It might have been with a fire sign. We do have air here. Okay, the Six of Cups. It might have been a relationship they experienced when they were quite young and innocent. So there's sort of this notion that they were, this relationship happened quite a while ago. They have been single for quite some time. Um, and it's almost like they were a still a child when they were, they were still growing and they were still learning. They might have been really young when they had this sort of relationship, uh, Taurus. But it's almost like they were still developing and still learning about themselves. Um, again, it's, it's, I think it might have started off really romantic. Um, there is children here, so there might be children involved somehow in some capacity. They might have had children or might have known each other through families or through the community. They might have been talking about children. There could have been an unplanned or unexpected pregnancy um, that brought them together. But again, I think there was a lot of cheating. And for some, they might have only stayed together because they had children. They had a baby or a couple of children here. And to be civil, I think that's why they stayed with the relationship. So there's possibility that they had a couple of children or a child. But I think for the most part, this person is just, it's such a toxic relationship that they went through, uh, Taurus. And it's, it's, it still resides within them. I don't think there's pain there um, because I think they, with the children here, I definitely think they learnt from this relationship because children... Um, are quite um, impressionable and influential and um, they do learn. So that sort of concept of growth and development, it definitely taught them a lot of things, Taurus. That's for sure with the Six of Cups. And I think they've blossomed. I think they're ready for a new relationship, Taurus. I think they want this type of romance. Um, they want sentimentality. I think they sometimes get nostalgic about this relationship, but there's no feeling. Um, they, they've put it in their past and they know how much they've learned from this relationship. So I don't think they care about this person anymore. I think they've totally moved away from them. Um, they are wanting a family. They are wanting children. Okay, Ten of Wands. It was a burdensome relationship. Um, again, this person might carry... You know, carry the thoughts of this person still. But again, it's not in a I miss you, I want to be with you way about their ex-partner. It's more like what a burden this relationship was. It took so much strenuous hard work. It took so much pushing and pulling and convincing. And in the end, it just, it all fell apart because it just wasn't working. It wasn't meant to be and nothing could put the two of them together. And eventually someone walked away. I have a feeling it's this person that's coming in for you took the initiative, walked away, just couldn't deal with the deceit, the lack of honesty, um, the uncertainty about where their relationship was going. This person wasn't, their ex wasn't someone serious. Again, it's all about them just liking the idea. Um, so what they're looking for in this relationship, um, Taurus, is stability. They are wanting a family. They want romance. They definitely want romance. They want someone that's quite thoughtful and that doesn't mean you have to go out there and buy them all these luxury items. It's it's someone that's very thoughtful and generous and you can definitely be that person, Taurus. You have that ability of when you're so into someone to spoil them above and beyond measure. And that's just not with physical, that's with you know, emotionally and mentally spoiling someone and you have that capacity. So I think you'll really gel here, but they're definitely wanting a family. They're wanting romance. Um, they're wanting sex and passion. Um, and they want to grow with someone. So they want someone that is quite nurturing. They want someone who's definitely very affectionate in their relationships. And this deceit, this deceit and lack of direction would be their biggest, um, would be your biggest obstacle when you're pursuing them. Because they've, they've been deceived. They've been left in the dark. They've been cheated on, I feel. Um, and they don't want that. And if they get any sign of that Taurus, they'll leave. Because with the seven, the seven of cups here, they're definitely trying to manifest a mate. They're definitely trying to manifest this romance, this love, this family. Um, maybe they don't want a family right away, but they do want to feel giddy. They do want to feel childlike. They want to feel embraced and protected. And this is certainly something you can provide for them, Taurus. 
Um, so they're manifesting working towards this and they don't want this burdensome relationship where you have to push and pull and nag at someone to care or nag at someone to want to ask them to see them. It just it doesn't work that way for them. They've been there. They've done that. They know when they're appreciated. They know when someone's interested and when someone isn't. Um, so keep that in mind. Let's have a look at your relationship and how the two of you will be and feel towards each other when you do come together for a relationship, Taurus. Should the two of you come together? Okay, one card has fallen out. Um, look, on the left-hand side, I wanted to do how this person would feel and on the right-hand side, how you would feel. So look, the strength card has come out for the person and how they'd feel towards you in this relationship or how the relationship will be from the two of you. And I can say very confidently that for some of you, it, it is definitely a Leo that's coming in Taurus or it's a it's someone that just has this ability to give you a lot of strength. Someone that's going to be affectionate and someone that sees you as their pillar of strength. Someone that sees you that as someone they can rely on through the good, through the bad. It's almost like you give them strength. You give them a sense of belonging. You give them the ability to love again and be loved. Um, and I love that because the strength is all about perseverance. So there could be these sort of blockages or obstacles when you when the two of you come together. As I said, we did see the emperor under here somewhere. Where was he? There he was. So there could have there could be this sort of obstacle um, that the two of you might not that you know this could be intimidation. This could be the fact that maybe other people are around, so you can't exactly go up to them in this environment. You can't exactly approach them straight away. But I think with time, with perseverance, with effort especially when the two of you come together. There's a lot of strength here, so I feel there's a very solid partnership that will blossom between the two of you. And they'll definitely see you as the leader, um, as leading this relationship, taking the reins over, and I think they'll really appreciate that um, strength, giving each other strength, a very strong, solid foundation in relationships. They don't have to be a Leo, but this energy around them is really good. Two of Wands, beautiful collaboration here with the Two of Wands. This is a very strong and solid partnership that is being protected. We have the Eye of Horus, um, the Royal Regalia here. So this is a very potentially, it's almost like you, you'll, this, um, this person will feel like you're a power couple or this person will see how compatible you are. They'll definitely notice your worth. It's a beautiful collaboration here. There could be someone else around this person at the time when you come into a relationship. I don't think they'll be dishonest with it though. I think you'll know about this person. It could be someone they work with. It could be, I don't think it's an ex, but it could be someone else that is maybe on a friend level, but trying to pursue them, um, trying to come out of the friend zone possibly. But I love this. If this is how they feel about you, then they feel like things are progressing very nicely. The ones are all about action and taking steps for a fulfilling and beautiful relationship. And if this is any indica indication of how they'll feel to, about you, Taurus, they'll definitely things feel things are moving at the right pace between the both of you. It's reciprocal. They definitely feel like you're someone they could spend the rest of their life with and have a long-term relationship with. They definitely see what strong compatibility you two have together. Okay, you've got the Empress. This is beautiful. So the Empress and the Emperor has come up in this reading, which is really something special. This indicates there's a soulmate twin flame connection for some of you that is the person you're supposed to be with. This is the person that's fated to be in your path. The two of you will come together and have a beautiful relationship, um, possibly marriage as well. And it's almost like you'll be a power couple. So I'm not sure if you'll have your own successes together. But... Um, you're coming up as the empress for them so you're coming up as someone who is their sun and world look at this it doesn't matter what gender you are because the empress is seen as a as a female but look at this wonderful sun behind her it's almost like they'll see you as their sun and moon their sun and stars they'll really really praise and idolize you they'll really put you on a pedestal you need to give them a chance this person could even be around you now taurus it could be some sort of obstacles to get to this person, but should you just pursue it a little bit, you might start to see glimpses of what could potentially be between the two of you. You're definitely someone that is very um, very much the center of their world. They feel important when they're with you. 
they place a lot of importance and priority on this relationship. A very strong attraction as well, not only sexually, but um, mentally, emotionally, just a very strong compatibility. Possible Aries as well that's coming through because this is the sun, um, what looks like a massive sun. So I'm going to go with Aries. But they'll definitely hold you in very high regard, Taurus. This is someone that has a very beautiful respect for you um, and wants you very much a part of their life. And it's up to you. I feel like the ball is in your court. I really do. Let's see how you'll feel in, this, in the relationship. Okay, the Tower card. There could be setbacks in this relationship or setbacks in feelings about how you'll feel about them. There could be periods where you feel really connected. There could be periods in the relationship where you feel very disconnected and you feel like things are falling apart very quickly. And this can happen very suddenly. This could be that there is a major shakeup in this relationship where the two of you are together. Or it's almost like you'll be working towards building a very strong, solid foundation, which I think you will be doing. We can see the pyramid here. And it is quite solid, but the tip of it has just been struck by lightning. And, you know, two people, two parties are falling down here. So something could come in and really rock the boat here in this relationship, especially for you, Taurus. It's almost like you feel like you're working towards the peak and then something sets you back here with the tower card. It could be someone else that's coming in, whether it's around you or whether it's around them. But I feel like it's more it's coming more from you. So if anything... It's this notion of the ball is in your court and the only setbacks will come with you. So you'll be initiating the setbacks, not them. I think it's probably internal with the tower card because from their side, I think for the most part, there is, um, there is a lot of loyalty. However, I'm wondering if there's someone that will come into the picture and then this will sort of make you a little bit jealous or make you feel somewhat threatened. Um, if the two of ones does represent choice and options, it could be two different people coming in around them. And this might not sit well with you with the tower card. There's also a possibility an ex might come back for you, Taurus, in this time when you're in a relationship with this person. And that's why it's very sudden and it's very quick um, as well. Or it could be a personality trait. This person that's coming in for you could have certain um, habits um, that will be self-sabotaging to the relationship. It could be clinginess. I mean, you, they do see you as their son on their world. It could be, you know, too much in the relationship, a bit too much clinginess um, as well. This might, you know, throw you off a little bit. Okay, the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> now, the Queen of Wands is, the energy around her is beautiful. This is fertility. This is a wonderful collaboration. This is lust. It's, it's fiery energy. Um, you'll definitely see this person, whether they're a female or a male, you'll see them as someone that would be very, very good with children. Um, it's definitely someone you're crazy about sexually and they're quite arousing, you know, their body, their, their, their demeanor, their, their looks, um, the way they are in bed. This is, um, this is something you'll very much enjoy because they, I think they, have a, they encompass a lot, Taurus. They're, they're quite sensual, yet they're quite fiery. Um, could be quite adventurous in the bedroom, quite open-minded as well. Highly sexual, I think. I think, but um, this, this, you will definitely be loving this this aspect of them because it just it it almost takes you to another world. It's that good. Um, but with the Queen of Wands, it's someone that you see that's the way you're looking towards them. There's fertility in this relationship, and whether that means the two of you might have a child together, whether you're on the same one, um, same wavelength there excuse me and you're both wanting the same thing children and a family and building that happy family home with the queen of wands you're definitely seeing this person can give you this family can give you children um, because there's fertility as, as I said it could be in the form of actual children or it could be that this relationship undergoes a lot of milestones a lot of anniversaries um, and things like that with the queen of wands so there's a lot of movement, which is good in this relationship. Okay, four of chalices is coming up, and this is how you see them. I think there's definitely you having your guard up about this person for some reason. The four of chalices is seen as, traditionally in this deck, it is seen as the wrath of the priestess Nechbet. And um, 
she's seen as the ladies of the two lands. And it's almost like there's a duality to this person. So there's a side to them that you won't necessarily like or it could be self-destructive to the relationship. This does speak about duality because the, pre, uh, the goddess of Necbeth ruled upper and lower Egypt, the two lands. So there's duality. It comes back to either this person is, is um, represented by twins, possibly a Gemini, or this person has a lot of duality, maybe Piscean energy because we have the cups here. Um, in their chart this sort of fickleness and i don't know it could be uterus if it's not a gemini or it's not a pisces or someone with sort of like this virgo um, dual energy i feel it's you that will be on the fence i'm not that you'd be on the fence but i think when you see a different side to this person or this relationship it's either something a dynamic or a shift takes place in the in this relationship taurus you will be seeing this person in a different light. And this is what I think might throw you off a little bit. It could be a tendency of theirs. It could be a habit. It could be something they have done in their past. It could be just who they are as a person. But there's a certain side you don't like seeing and it doesn't help this relationship. But look, you're, you're definitely manifesting each other on, on some level. So you're definitely attracting each other. They're attracting you, they're manifesting you. The Six of Cups is bringing the two of you together. So this is karmic energy. This is the universe that's bringing you two together because right now your frequencies are aligning. And whether that happens in September of this year or whether it happens later this year or early or mid next year, just remember you, you're attracting this type of person um, and these kind of energies because you're, you're sending this out. So it's coming back to you. I think for the most part, they, they are a very trustworthy and... Um, a very lovable person and likewise they're able to offer you a lot of love and affection but I just think from your side something isn't going to be sitting not quite right about this relationship or this person another side to them so but look I hope this has been insightful for you Taurus